deeply religious who do not share Mr. Ham's extraordinary, uh, I call fringe view. People get a lot out of, like here, we're in a synagogue. People get a lot out of the, their religious community, especially. And I support that, I think it's, it's uh, good. But Mr. Ham's view is uh, extraordinary and, and uh, absolutely not consistent with everything we can observe in the universe. Most religious people in the world, as I understand it, uh, accept and embrace uh, the discovery of evolution, accept and embrace the age of the universe, the age of the earth, that the earth is not the center of the universe, and so on. So uh, I, have, I have no issue in general with people's religion. Uh, and uh, whether or not Mr. Ham thinks, for example, that I am um, uh, uh, an evil or, or, or doomed or condemned, the earth is still not 6,000 years old. It just can't be. Are you pleased with the reaction around the country and the world with your, your coming to the debate? Uh, well, so far, I think it's been positive. I think that ultimately it will work. This will be uh, another um, brick in the ziggurat of, trying, of getting people aware of the importance of science in our everyday lives and the importance of science for our future. Now, as I say, I was born in the U.S. I'm, I'm a citizen of the United States, so my worldview is tainted in that way. I completely acknowledge that. But uh, in order, for, what keeps the U.S. in the game economically, what keeps us on the world stage, is our ability to innovate, come up with new ideas, new products, new ways of doing things. Especially in the future, what, what we want to do is more with less, and that's going to require inventions and. Uh, and for that, we need scientists, and especially, we need engineers. So in order to have those inventions, these, this new future, we need engineers who are scientifically literate, who do not confuse <clears throat> this extraordinary worldview of Mr. Hamm and his followers with uh, provable or testable or uh, science that allows you to predict the things in the future. One of the, my big concerns with Mr. Hamm's point of view, and I hope I hope pick that up was his worldview has no predictive quality. You can't <clears throat> have a hypothesis and get a and predict an outcome. And that's really the essence of science. That's what we want. Science is two things, and then we'll move on. Science is the body of knowledge that we've accumulated with the, the diligence of our ancestors, and it's the process, it's the, the means by which we make these discoveries. Be happy with what you're doing for the bow tie industry. I noticed that some of the students are wearing bow ties. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, bow ties. I I stand by them. I'll just tell you. I, I wore straight ties for many years. I used to have a job, everybody, and I I was working on a drawing board, and I would tuck my straight tie in my shirt every day. Then uh, I lived through time. This was out, out, out west in Seattle, and it's a little more casual than maybe it is back east. So people gradually stopped wearing ties at all. But in that interim, I discovered that your tie doesn't drop onto your drawing board. It does not slip into your soup. It doesn't flip into your flask. And so there's a practical thing. And I, I stand by this, everybody. When you're dressed, if you're a guy, and you're dressed up, you wear a tuxedo. And I just think, I mean, who's Fred Astaire? You look at Fred Astaire. He's wearing a bow tie with his tuxedo. Yeah. When you're dressed up. I mean, I respect the straight tie. Yeah. Knock yourself out. Yeah. But this is. But this I'm not is as my, classy looking as you are. Well, I'll take your word for that. <laughs> and, and this, and I just, I'm not trying to be um, sexist. I think just once again, ask the ladies. <laughs> this kid, what do you? What? What appeals to you? She's not a yes. And that is uh, evolutionary uh, biology, right there. Just look at all the trouble we go to with the. Um, with eye makeup and lipstick, and in my case, bow ties and sports cars. I mean, it's just like, this is what we, this is what drives us. I have one more. <laughs> I'm sorry, She's waving her hand. Well, what's your last question? Yeah, yeah. Who, who's winning the, the battle for young minds, uh, you know, scientists or those uh, in Mr. Hand's camp? Uh, well, I'm working hard to make it our side. Uh, I don't know who's winning, and I'd leave it up to you, the hard-hitting investigative reporters. <laughs> Thank you. Carry on, you guys.